that uh, organization, Kenya Heritage Organization, is calling a protest uh, on 16th of July at 11 o'clock and calling all the Tamil people should together to come there and participate for the protest. And that protest will convey the message to all over the world that this is what happening for Tamils in Sri Lanka and how the Sri Lanka government through their departments and authorities destroying the Tamil heritage that UNICEF and uh, likewise uh, UNESCO like I saw, uh, all of the UN organizations are supporting in terms of finance to Sri Lanka to preserve the heritage uh, locations in Sri Lanka. But in Sri Lanka, they are preserving the Sinhalese heritages only by getting the funds and the same funds will apply to destroy Tamil's heritages here, in, especially in the North and East. So, we are requesting all, all the international organizations and, and, and governments should intervene in this situation and we are expecting your support to preserve, protect ourselves and our heritages, especially in the North and East. Kenya Hot Wheels belongs to Tamil according to our history. The land personally belonging to the Tamils uh, with the deed given by the British. During the period after 2009, and we had a very bad situation that, uh, that the then government agent, who was an army major general, Mr. T.T. Arnie Silva, under his uh, lead, the ownership of that place was uh, given to the archaeological department from the Upoli Pradesh Sabha. There was a temple constructed by Buddhist monks very near to this Kanya Hotwells. The monk is now claiming the ownership of Kanya Hotwells and Tamils claiming that this is the ancient place to do the death spiritual activities of Tamils and the cash is ongoing and during that time the monk has the power and authority from the Sri Lanka government to do whatever he needs and he has the ability to stop our Tamils activity to secure that place for our Tamils. So after on 10th of June there was a meeting held at uh, the Kacheri Tree Company and the minister uh, Mano Ganeshan was attended there and he was trying to transfer the ownership again from archaeological department to uh, Upoli Pradesh Sabha but it has been uh, rejected by the monk and also not has been done up to now and after that Mano Ganeshan told that in that place he will be able to allocate funds to construct a temple and he said that it is agreed by all the parties but actually none of the party has agreed to construct a half temple there and the renovation was failed on that as well and suddenly after that this monk wrote a letter to parliamentarians and single parliamentarians and especially Mr. Karuja Surya has written based on the letter sent by this mom to protect the place and build a temple in that place. So based on that, the Sri Lankan government, actually the secretariat of the president has sent a letter to the archaeological department head that to protect that place, protect that Kenya hot wells according to the rules and regulations given by the law to the archaeological department. So the archaeological department again do the digging on the place where our playa coil was situated and destroyed. And Tamils have no 
authority to protect their their spiritual places and uh, the worship places from their ancient period. In Sri Lanka, the archaeological department and the authority of the governments all are supporting to destroy our identity, the historical identities of Tamils.